Hello you guys, I'm the Diva and I am back with my fourth update to the Team Project Pan panning video and um, I have a lot of um, good visual updates but mm -mm, measurements my measurements are off so I don't know what happened but it, it, don't, it don't look good it don't look good we're gonna go ahead and start with the first item with which is my Dior primer this is the forever and everywhere primer and it has an SPF of 20 I really like this one but you guys I just got in the um, Tatcha SPF and whoa I can use that as a primer I have been using it for the past few days as a primer but I really want to go ahead and talk to you guys more about that in another video that just lets you know that I kind of stopped wearing this one and um last time this weighed in at 38 grams and this time it weighed in at 37 grams then I have the Peter Thomas Roth squalene oil it does magical things underneath my eyes uh, for my fine lines under there I have used this I kind of forget sometimes during my nighttime routine just because I finally have a brand new um, nighttime routine and this just gets lost in the sauce so sometimes I forget, sometimes I remember, but sometimes, a lot of times I forget. Previously weighed in at 94 grams and this time again, it weighed in at 94 grams. So we're not gonna talk too much more about that. Okay, I told you guys the way, the weights are, oh, they, they're not good. They're not good. Okay, the next item that I have is this Fenty, um, pro filter powder and I keep mine like this because I have a concoction going on between this product and this product right here I sift some out of here and then I sift some out of here and pour it into this one but I want to show you guys what it is what it do what it do okay so um I'm thinking about getting a darker version of this because you guys when I mix the two of these together she be light bright and um, I don't know that that's always right so this is what it looks like this is what just came out from the moving but um, the rest of it is the mixture of the two okay the reason I mix the two together let me show you this one this is by itself the pro filter that's it by itself and this is it with the bye bye pores from it cosmetics it just is so see how much smoother it is and how it just blends out to nothing and this one is just a little bit more stark and right there in your face so I'm thinking about getting a darker color because the one that I have is honey. But anyways, the uh, previous weight on this was 129 grams. This time it weighed in at 127. And that's good because I actually mixed the two of these together. So yeah. The next thing that I have is the Mineralized Skin Finish in uh, Natural in Dark. I really wanted you guys to be able to see what it looks like, but it went from 70 grams to 68 grams. So, um, yeah, I use this every day and I use a lot. I'm heavy handed with it and I'm okay with that. The next thing that I have is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette and this is unlocked. I only use this color right here and I use it underneath my eyebrows. You guys, I don't know if you can tell, but I'll try to come in a little bit, but I have, um, it's like it's lit 
underneath my brow but it's not like a white or a highlighting color it is um, just a bronzy color which is kind of my skin tone but glowier so it, it just gives a glow underneath my brows and I can use all the help underneath my brows because I'm not that great at doing my brows but uh, yeah I use this color right here and um, it went from 138 grams to 137 the next thing that I have is this cover FX power play concealer mine is in N deep one I love this I love this this lasts on my eyes until I take it off at night and that is no joke that is mainly because of this concoction too and this um, but this last and last and last and usually I would get with all the other concealers I would get um, bald spots right here and I would get a bald spot right here meaning my concealer would just walk off set child and like when I was needing to do a video I would always have to touch up in that area and this area and now I don't have to do any touch ups if I'm doing a uh, video right after I get off work I don't have to touch up my uh, concealer I do touch up my face but I don't touch up my concealer and I don't know if I said but the last time this was 32 grams and this time it weighed in at 30 grams the Armani fluid sheer in number 14 I finished this it is gone there is nothing left I mean there's a itty bitty amount left I'm, I'm not doing it because I tip this upside down and everything that was gonna come out came out I am replacing it with this uh, Armani fluid sheer which is something that I would use in the summertime it is very light very light very light I don't know what I was thinking when I got this yeah that's what that looks like I don't know what was I thinking but it does give your skin just a as the other one did give me gives me a glow but if I do have a foundation that is a little bit deeper this can lighten that up for me and um, so I won't have to have like a um, summer and a winter color I can just have one color and just add this in on this one right here it weighed in at 89 grams the next thing that I have is my Inglot pressed powder and this is what I use as my contour and the best thing about this you guys is the look like like just look at it just look at it just look just take a good look she did damage I mean it's not showing in the weight but she did damage okay so it went from 55 grams to 54 grams I don't care about the weight I don't care I don't care I'm looking at what I did what she done did the next thing that I have for you guys is my um, eyeshadow I'm sorry all these products look like shit but I use them every day just about I didn't really use this one that much I'm not gonna lie this right here is the Chanel Les four ombres four pan palette uh, 286 city lights I Oh, I love this palette, but sometimes I forget about it. Totally forget about it for the um, other palette that I will be showing later. This one weighed in at 49 grams the last time and this time 48 grams. The next product that I have is this Dior highlighter. Oh my goodness, you guys, this thing is so... <laughs> it's so beat up it's crazy it's crazy how did it get this broken the funny thing about this is it's broken but it will clamp in place so that it stays closed 
here is what the blush looks like that is probably the best representation of it right there it weighed in at 53 grams the last time and it weighed in at 53 grams this time i do have this highlighter on today and you guys it's really 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 hard to use a lot of highlighter next we have this dior blush you guys this blush is in number 962 passion matte i kind of start stopped using this halfway into june i'm going to have to take this out and put another blush in i will tell you what it was before 58 grams and again 58 grams Although I did use this quite a bit. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is supposed to be a dome. And I have a good size dent in it. I know some people are like, girl, you ain't painting nothing. Well, I am painting some stuff. I mean, I did. Hey. Um, but I want this to be an enjoyable experience. And I have so much makeup you guys I need I need to put my hands on just about everything I need to because I spent good money on this stuff and it's just sitting there like some of this stuff is so brand new it's never been opened some of my makeup never been opened never been touched never been used I need to get in there. I need to get in there. I need to use that. I need to touch it. I need to be able to say, oh yeah, I use that and I like this about it. I don't like that about it, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I need to get into each of those products. So I'm not, I'm not mad at the fact that that's leaving this panning situation. So the blush that I decided to bring in is this Chanel blush. This is in number 350 rosewood you guys i'm wearing this today i just love it i just i love blushes that look exactly like this this is my blush situation i kind of like it girl this is what i go for every time when i'm looking for a blush but anyways uh this blush weighed in at 49 grams the next thing that I have is this Dior foundation this is the 24-hour high uh, perfection skin caring foundation with sunscreen I love that that it comes with sunscreen it comes with 35 that's really good okay um, this is mine is in 5n yeah, 5N. This weighed in the last time at 140 grams. And this time it is at 128. And you guys, I don't know if you can tell, but this is where I'm at. I've only been using this a month. I've only been using this a month. I've only been using, I have, I have only been using this a month. And we are, what, what the what? So, um... I don't know I don't know what to say about this but she gonna be done next month but anyways what I did want to show you guys there is an expiration date at the bottom down here I was so shocked and shook it the next thing that I have is this Chanel lip gloss and it is in 716 I really don't need to weigh this cuz I ain't use it it went from 19 grams to 20 20 grams i don't know you guys i don't know i think something i think it was how i was weighing it last time because the first time i weighed these i weighed them in the kitchen on the counter this time the last time i weighed them i weighed them in here and there's carpet underneath this little table. I think I'm going to have to go back to the kitchen. Because it can't be that far off. The next one is this Bobbi Brown 
lipstick and this one is in party alice the last time this weighed in at 34 and this time it weighed in at 34 and i'm kind of skeptical about that because i have been using this every day at work and um i just knew it was going to be better results than that so I don't know. The next one is this Chanel lipstick in uh, number uh, 96. It weighed in at 21 grams the last time and this time it weighed in at 21 grams. So the next one that I have is the Chanel Les 9 Ombres edition number two. And you guys, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't use this at all at all not one bit not one bit I don't use it I just like looking at it like it'll sit up where all of my stuff that I'm using every day is at, and I'll open it up and I'll look at it then I'll close it and use the the next one so I am going to take this one out because I'm tired of picking it up and saying I didn't use it so if I'm not going to use it, I'm not going to have it in here. It just don't make no sense. The Chanel Les Beiges. And this has been my bae. This one right here used to be bae. But this one right here, it is bae. This one is bae. And <laughs> I know y'all looking at this. I know you looking at the progress that I made on this. Yes. Yeah. You see it. You see it. Girl, I'm looking at it. I know you're looking at it. You're looking at it. But I'm going to have to point one other piece out to you. So there's pan. There's panning right there. And the pan on this one right here. Let me bring that up close to you so you can see it. You see that pan? You see that pan situation right there? Yeah. So I hit pan. It, it's, it's small, but it's there. Okay, it's there. This weighed in at 96 grams the last time, and this time it weighed in at 96. That's why I said, you guys, these measurements. But look at, look at it, look at it. The next thing that I have is this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores, and I think I showed it to you before. I really don't want to open it because this one is way more messier than the other one. It gets everywhere just from you just twisting the cap it's everywhere it's in my lungs it's everywhere it weighed in the last time at 48 grams and this time it is 47 grams the next thing that i have is this laura mercier um bronzing powder and this one is in number four it looks like this you guys, I did not use this as much because I'm trying to use the um, the um, MAC one up, the Mineralized Skin Finish. I'm trying to use more of this one than this one um, just because I've had that one open longer and this one I just got. But this one weighed in the last time at 87 grams. And this time it is 85 grams. All right, you guys. That's the end of this panning video. I hope you liked it. I hope you liked it enough to go down and click the subscribe button. And click the like button. Until next time, like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. Something like a sign.